What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're covering a completely new SMP that was created back in June and it features some very popular people including Flip, Mythical Sausage, Pearlescent Moon, and Smallish Beans and a bunch more people. This is the Empire's SMP and so far they've created some pretty cool things. So we figured we'd showcase their SMP and just follow along with everything that they build as well. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. We cover everything, Hermitcraft, modded content, new updates, and everything else Minecraft. So stick around and check out the rest of our videos on our channel, and let's jump right into today's video. So starting off with actually one of my favorite designs on the server so far, and that is from Pixel Riffs, who has created an empire in the desert. And this empire is very cool, it's all desert based, but he's featuring a lot of the new blocks including glowberries, dripstone, rooted dirt, and moss to make it a very cool, lush, wondrous empire in the desert. I think this area actually is very cool and he's done a great job terraforming and building his buildings to match what he's terraformed as well. Everything that he's built so far looks absolutely incredible. I love all the green that he's paired with the desert and his use of a variety of blocks from glowberries, bamboo, melons, just a whole variety of green blocks that make this whole area look very lush in the desert biome. Let's take a second as well to talk about what is Empire's SMP. So this is completely new and it's an Empire slash Kingdom server and all the players on this server are actually creating their own kingdom and then they will either make alliances, trade, or become enemies with the other kingdoms. And this is completely up to them. There's a lot of lore and stuff going on in this server and a lot of interactions between all the members. It is very entertaining to watch, so definitely go and check out this server. All right, let's jump right back into today's video. Next up, we are looking at Joey Graceffa, who has created an empire in the jungle and actually built a very unique design for a jungle temple. And this is the Lost Empire. He's got a lot of red, red sandstone, glowstone, and a lot more in this build. And this is a very unique design from what I've seen before. I actually really like this block palette that he's done, and the interior of this is amazing as well. The chest room that he has in this temple looks great, and he even has a throne on top where he is the ruler of this empire. He recently built a raid farm so that he could collect totems of undying and trade that with other people on the server in order to get things that he doesn't have. So far he's gotten firework rockets and dyes and even hired mythical sausage to go and kill somebody. This is definitely shaping up to be a very interesting server and I've already had a lot of fun watching their videos so definitely go and check them out because they're very entertaining. Next up, we are looking at Solidarity Gaming, who has become the COD father of this series. He has created a empire of COD, and it's pretty funny so far. He has an entire wall that is glass with some water in it that he is filling with COD currently, and I think that is a great idea. This wall will help protect him against the enemies of his empire, and this is very important considering Fwip has already come and blown up his... T uh... Next up we are looking at one of your guys' favorite YouTubers and that is Smallish Bean. Smallish Beans has a very interesting base so far. He's using a lot of red sandstone, terracotta, and a lot of concrete which helps a lot considering he built a concrete factory in one of his recent episodes. He also has started work on his mega base for this season and so far it is looking insanely cool. It's definitely a very complicated but very cool build and it features a lot of colors which I think is very interesting. He has definitely a very unique building type in this season and it is very cool to see. This type of structure is definitely something I've seen before but the use of colors and how well it's all put together is something that I have never seen before. So I really enjoy this build and everything that he's done so far this season. I definitely can't wait to see the finished product of his empire and his mega base over here. It is going to look insanely cool when it's all done. And as you can see he has a very big outline of what this is actually going to be. Next up we are looking at Catherine Elizabeth Gaming who has a very interesting castle built so far and as you can see it is completely filled with iron golems which I believe was actually a prank by Mythical Sausage because he has a ton of iron and the ability to do this and she covered his house with flowers. 
So he had a lot of reasons to go and fill hers with iron golems. She actually ended up building a prison for all these iron golems and built an entire prison right outside of her castle, which blends in very nicely and it actually turned out to be a great addition to the base. What I really enjoy about this SMP so far is that everybody seems to be leaning a lot into their character of their empire and it's actually turning into a very interesting lore, so it's very cool to watch and I would definitely go check this out. There isn't a ton of insanely crazy builds on this server yet, there are definitely a couple that are shaping up to be very cool, but it is more about the lore and storyline of this server and the builds will come along later. They are a work in progress currently, but so far it's looking insanely cool. Especially Flip who is now building an entire mountain covering it in snow and actually creating a pond area at the top to put salmon in. He also terraformed this entire mountain and the river that leads down from it, uh, including the waterfall which flows right past his creeper farm, which is where he's supplying all the gunpowder for rockets that he's giving to other people on the server uh, as trades. This is definitely another one of my favorite builds on the server so far, just because the terraforming is perfect. I know he's actually terraformed mountains before, so it makes a lot of sense that he's putting so much work into this mountain here. Building a sanctuary for salmon is of course completely against the beliefs of the Cod Empire, but Fwip has already stolen the Codfather head so I don't really think he cares about their beliefs. He's also built this very cool nether portal right outside of his base, uh, built with a lot of deep slate, dripstone, and even some redstone deep slate, and it actually pairs very well. Next up we are looking at Gemini Tay, who is also on the Hermitcraft server, and she's building a wizard tower on top of this mountain currently. She also has all these builds down here that feature a lot of amethyst and calcite, and it looks very nicely put together. Uh, of course her pathways are looking great as always, and she's definitely putting a lot of work into this server as well as the Hermitcraft server. I can't imagine being on two servers at once, that must take a lot of time and effort, so definitely some respect for Gemini Tay and also Pearlescent Moon considering she's also on both of these servers. I definitely can't wait to see the finished product of the wizard tower on top of the hill and everything else that she builds in her empire. Everything is looking incredible so far and she has a lot of outlines for things that she wants to do in the future. Next up we are looking at Mythical Sausage who has built an empire called Mythland. And of course there is a lot of very cool builds in here and he's even recently added a great wall of his own. Probably a little safer than a wall of cod, but I still think the cod wall is a great idea as a whole. Obviously, the Mythical Sausage is an incredible builder and has built a lot in this area so far. You can see in that castle he actually had an iron farm going, so he's definitely got a lot in progress on this server so far. A lot of farmland, of course, which he has also been working on as well recently. Now let's take a look at Myth's Wall, which features a lot of cobblestone and deep slate variants, and he's done a great job of doing a lot of detail and depth in this wall, which makes it look very cool. Hopefully this keeps his empire and especially his iron farm safe from the rest of the people on the server. Next up, we are looking at Shovel. Shovel has a very interesting area into the side of this hill right now, and a lot of mushrooms and natural areas going on. Definitely a very cool area and I can't wait to see the rest of what she puts in this area because so far it is looking very cool and I like all the mushroom builds and pathways that she's done so far. Next up we're looking at Pearlescent Moon who has created a very cool area so far and done some in raiding with a bunch of the group. Unfortunately she did die in the end so she lost a lot of what she brought with her but she'll recover it very quickly. She, like Gemini Tay, is also on the Hermitcraft server, so I'm very impressed that both of them are keeping up with both of these SMPs so far, because they've both done some incredible things on both these servers. Pearlescent Moon especially has created a very cool area over here, and she's done a ton of work on the Hermitcraft server, so I'm excited to see how both of them use their time throughout these seasons. I especially like this tree that she's built completely by hand over here, uh, using fences and of course logs. Uh, and she did a great job of using the glowberries to make it a very cool viney effect. 
Last but not least today, we are looking at Dang That's a Long Name, and he's built some pretty cool things over in this area of the world. This is of course his empire, he's got some statues, a sheep farm, and a lot more over here. Definitely shaping up to be a very interesting season for his empire, and I'm very excited to see what happens later on. That is all that we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. We have a ton of different Minecraft content, including Hermitcraft, modded content, and so much more. So stick around and check out the rest of the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.